Hi, welcome back. Or if you're just joining, my name is Maya, and welcome to my channel, Cranley Place, where I'm focused on Hermes scarf style, knot tutorials, and more. In this video, I'll share with you my scarf selection and wardrobe planning for an upcoming business trip. This will be a local trip, meaning I can drive versus fly, so I'm not as concerned about packing light. But, as always, I still do want to be efficient with my wardrobe planning. So I'll share with you the capsule that I've planned for this three-day trip and look at how I could actually make several more outfit combinations with the scarves and basics that I've chosen. Let's get started. Let's first talk about a few other considerations for this upcoming trip. As I mentioned, this is for business and the weather forecast calls for relatively cool temperatures and a chance of rain. Since I will be mostly indoors, I'm looking mainly at 90 centimeter silk twill scarves. Once I arrive, dinners will be local, either within walking or driving distance of the hotel. So I'll bring a light overcoat and comfortable shoes. My days will be mostly indoors, and if you've been following my channel, you'll know that I usually dress in layers. And finally, this is a three-day trip, short and sweet. First, let me show you the scarves that I chose for this trip. This first one is a 90 centimeter silk twill scarf called Wild Singapore by Alice Shirley, and it was originally released in 2011. It features a stunning array of wildlife found in Singapore's tropical forests, including birds, monkeys, and reptiles. This illustration showcases the biodiversity and beauty of the region, highlighting the importance of preserving these habitats. Now, this colorway has an orange contrast hem and spans a range of colors, including reds, purples, blues, oranges, yellows, browns, cream, black, and white. This next one is also a 90 centimeter silk twill by Alice Shirley, and frankly, I didn't realize that I'd chosen two by the same artist until just now. I was just thinking about colors and pairing possibilities in my original selection for this trip. Anyways, this is called Jaguar Quetzal and features a vibrant and intricate illustration of a jaguar and a quetzal, two iconic animals from the Americas. The jaguar, as you may know, is a powerful and majestic big cat that has been revered by many indigenous cultures in the Americas for its strength, grace, and mystical qualities. The Quetzal, on the other hand, is a colorful bird that has been regarded as a symbol of freedom, beauty, and spiritual elevation by the ancient Maya and Aztec peoples. Now, this particular colorway has a chartreuse yellow-green contrast hem and colors ranging from oranges, greens, yellows, browns, black, and white. This third one is a 140 centimeter silk twill GM called Queer du Désert d'Etail by Françoise de la Perrière. The original design, I believe, was first introduced in 1997 as part of Hermès's spring summer collection, and it features an intricate design inspired by the leatherworking traditions of North African cultures with a central motif of a camel, surrounded by various tools and symbols of the leather trade. Now, the GM, as I mentioned, is a daytime version focused on one portion of the original design, specifically the tassel at the bottom left, if you're looking at it straight on. This colorway was love at first sight for me, with its range of blues, reds, browns, greens, black, and white. Here's a look at my day one outfit. For the scarf, I've chosen the Wild Singapore with its range of reds, purples, blues, oranges, yellows, browns, cream, black, and white. I've been eager to start wearing dresses, but the spring weather is still a bit fickle. I have this red A-line dress, which is sleeveless, but I'll adapt it for cooler temps with a shirt underneath. Then under that, I'll wear a regular pair of tights, versus the fleece-lined ones that I brought on my last trip. Those, by the way, worked incredibly well, but they won't be nearly as cold where I'm going for this trip. Then for shoes, I have this black 
pair of kitten heel slingbacks, which, like my dresses, I've been wanting to bring out. Then, instead of a knit jacket, I plan to wear this black leather moto jacket. The rest of the outfit is more on the dressy side, so I like how this gives it an edge and a slightly more casual feel. Then, if it does rain, I'll throw the trench coat on top. Otherwise, it'll just be this leather jacket. Looking at day two, for the scarf, I'll wear the Jaguar Quetzal with its oranges, greens, yellows, browns, black, and white. I have another dress, which I normally wouldn't bring for travel because it's a linen blend and wrinkles easily. But again, since I'm local, I don't have to cram my luggage as tightly. This is also a warmer weather dress being sleeveless, but I'll throw a shirt underneath again for added warmth. I like its light neutral color, which works with just about anything. I'll pair this with some brown lightweight tights underneath and some brown leather ballet flats. Then on top, I'll wear this chocolate brown knit jacket. And again, I have the trench coat just in case of rainy weather. And for the third day, which is also my return day home, I will bring out the Queer du Désert GM with its blues, reds, browns, greens, black, and white. I will re-wear the red dress, but this time with a white shirt underneath. And this time, I'll pair it with brown tights and matching ballet slippers. And for outerwear, I'll wear the brown knit jacket and the trench coat on top if needed. Now that you've seen the scarves and the capsule wardrobe, we can start mixing things up. These scarves, again, at first glance, are quite different in their color palettes, but they do have colors in common, which you'll see work across the wardrobe basics that I have for the trip. This is a three-day trip, but I could easily make this capsule last for over a week. Let's see how.
So there you have it, my scarf selection and capsule wardrobe for this three-day business trip. Please like the video if you enjoyed it and let me know what you think in the comments. In future episodes, I'll share other scarf reviews, tutorials, and more, so be sure to hit that subscribe button to be notified of new videos. Thanks again for joining me today. Until next time!